<laughs> oh shit. Day of travel was pretty painless. We woke up and had our things pre-packed. I hadn't fully packed. I was looking for my hat for like 20 minutes. Jensen was just late to the airport since he couldn't find his hat. And he was looking for a few things. I forget, either his hat or like his passport for 30 minutes. After not being able to find my hat, I lost my phone too. I couldn't find my phone. So then I spent like another 20 minutes looking for my phone and then we were starting to get really late because of me. Eating banana. Picture now. Won't keep trying eating banana now. I guess we were planning on leaving really early in advance, so it ended up not mattering too much, but it was a stressful morning for me. Uh, it's just up here. Just like hot dogs. Uh, do it, Mike. I'm not, a, I'm not a shit talker. Maybe I'm the best since I've traveled probably the most out of anyone on the team. And then the worst would, might be Jensen, since he's pretty forgetful about things. I'm the worst traveler? Peter said that? Yeah. Huh, how am I the worst? What did I do? What did he say? When we got to St. Louis, took a shuttle to the hotel. It was pretty late at that point, since it was like a time zone difference. The hotel is actually pretty unique. It's called a Union Station Hotel, so I think it was like a train station before, and they changed it to a hotel. I think our gaming room also, like, usually before, like, it was always kind of cramped, like, not really designed for, like, a gaming setup. But our area there was really nice, really big. I think we just went to play a few games and then just went to sleep. It was a pretty long day for me. You know, Ryan has, has banned us from downloading anything on their PCs for like seven years. Do I still look like me? Oh, here. Here. Oh, well. um, guys, let's go. Thanks, man. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are going to do photo shoot? Sure. Yeah, okay. All right, I'll probably just stay here then. Okay. All right. See you. All right. See is it no more? Uh, yeah. For a bus? Yeah. Because, like, what if the bus tips over? Yeah. And it's just like walk Normally, yeah. So then you have to go off the side, which this would be the side. Yeah, normally in Korea, there is like some eggs. Yeah, I think it's more fine. It's more hammer. Oh, yeah. Apparently, like Italians. Next by window. Yeah, I don't know. When you know. When in emergence, you just break the window. Yeah, just break the window. Go out. November. I think Ryan did a pretty good job trying to like hype it up uh, between like me and Soren. Soren and I have always been friends, so when we lost to TSM in the regular season, you know, we hugged and he said, see you in the finals. So, you know, he's my friend and I also think we respect each other as players since we know the influence that we have on the teams that we play on. I think like the storyline of like us competing against each other is really cool, but personally I didn't really care about any of that stuff. I just really wanted to win and I just really wanted to go to MSI. That's cool. So heavy, look guys. at each other. So heavy. So. We're not looking here, guys. And let's get a one, two, three liquid. One, two, three liquid. One, two, three liquid. liquid. Oh. <laughs> uh. I'd say the atmosphere leading up to the final was pretty good. I don't know. I felt pretty confident and pretty comfortable with my new team. It was like we've been together for such a long time. Like I didn't even notice anything or think about it. Like being my first time with a different team, so everything was just super smooth and super good for me. I made up my luck myself. Yes. I wonder if anybody's actually <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm here. I can look, I can look. Yeah, you can look, you can look. Here's mine, here's mine. Lyser did you TP? I'm hiding. I can kill, I think. Go. I did not flash. I'm not flash top now. I'm not. My cube. My cube! Oh, he's too good. What? I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Mm. Yeah, Wait. Sucks, Am I trash? Corky was not a success. Coach, let's not play a while. <laughs> well, Super Corky is the OG play for late game combo. Mm -hmm. You have two of the best scaling champs in the rules. Well, yeah, you're yeah, just Olaf, a meatball. We need, Olaf for we need your early game Pretty. pressure and we need a yeah, meatball yeah, later. Let's do Jarvan. Mm, no, it's Olaf, not, Olaf, not the Olaf same. Can only, only pressure? What? Oh, Rexlight actually wins if you just get the jump. Mm. It's the same thing as a as a Jarvan. Sweet, so we're already going to know. One shot to Rexai. One shot Rexai. Better than Rexai. Yeah, better than Rexai. Yeah, better than Rexai. Yeah, better than Rexai. Yeah, I'm dead, boy. Who just dodged that? Let's dodge it. Let's give it a list. We had two redemptions. At least you'll learn. If you dodge everything, you won't take damage. True, true. Scrimming going into Grand Finals wasn't as optimal as we would wanted since obviously there was no third, fourth place now. So we had to scrim um, like academy teams who wanted to practice, like LCS teams who are trying to rebuild their roster. So it wasn't as optimal as we have thought, but it was still helpful. Like a lot of teams helped us on just like preparing and like what we want to play. No, what if we kind of champion? Just flow. Zig is there. Zig is there moving. Yeah. Oh. I don't think we were improving much, but I think we were just trying to conserve our basics over the week. Since uh, it's hard to improve when your competition is just academy teams and and uh, solo queue. So we were just trying to do our best with all the time that we had. Do you want They're to do predictions? Good players. Yeah? Because this is actually a hotly contested series. I lean very lightly towards TSM. Uh, and and the actual tipping point for me is because of TSM Academy. Coming down to it, you've got a week to prep for your next opponent. There's no one else who's really active, like at your level, that's going to scrim. But you've got an academy team, and TSM has the best academy team. They're going to have that little bit extra edge, slightly better prep because of TSM. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of the on-paper stuff should favor TL, but when you start getting into TSM's win streak, I think their coaching staff is better. I think they look better as like a team in terms of like looking more than the sum of their parts, which is pretty important. I think that Sven is, is good enough to not give up some monumental advantage to double lift, and then it's like, well, where where is your edge? I expect Bjergsen to beat Jensen as he has historically, and then I don't think the differences in bot and jungle are enough to actually change that. I am giving the slightest of edges to the TSM side. It's hard, so, dude. You know, the three I'm excited. Two. Definitely I'm excited. excited. What are you doing? What are you doing? Where's AD? Where's... Wait, can't you just get my boy Peter a suit? Like, it's Here. Peter versus Jerks. That's true. <laughs> Why does he have to? Oh. 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 I like it, bro. Yes. Okay, I'm doing it. You should just. I should just. Make it. Make like a. Make a free incendiary account and just be like. I give you massage. Don't even talk to me. Don't talk to me. Do you remember your login? Wait, it's 144 money dollars? <gasps> huh? Oh, uh, not yet. Huh? Oh, it's no, 240 no, no, no. for me. That, that one. Oh, so this one is a POV stuff. It's like a second monitor attached, but... There's a second monitor, but there's not a second monitor. It, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> it, but it's consuming another slot below that goes out to a monitor somewhere. There's not, there's not a physical, really far there's away. Not a physical there is second. a second monitor, no, but really you. far away. Yeah. Okay. Uh, How does that work? How do you connect that? Like via HDMI that converts into something that does the HDMI go like underground or something or what? Uh, like how does that, it reach? That, that's a good question. They just have a really long cable that goes from here to LA. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Understandable. Uh, but their white noise is fucking loud. You see the audio? 
That's wild. Um, on eight times. That is really wild. I must admit. That's really crazy, actually. Uh, can I sign a petition to turn the white noise down? Yeah. Also, a lot of them are commenting that the white noise is super loud. Hey, Rev. They're they're talking about it. Right? No, Refri. They're talking. They're already talking about it. Oh. have the stream right there. You can see that we are indeed on stream. We're live. Y you can look. Hello. It's right there. Hey, we're, we're live. We, we <laughs> How's it going, Mark? Uh, hello, everyone. Welcome to Hotline League Live in St. Louis. So I was at a Hotline League, and Andy and I were getting ready to go up. And Andy is the kind of guy who's like, oh, man, this thing forever. Come on, let's go. And I'm like, look, let's just go up there. Let's just talk about the games, and the whole idea was, hey, let's just be cool, all right? Every time we get on camera, we're always fighting and bickering and acting like children, and like, that's, it's not professional, let's just not do that, let's, let's just talk about the games and, you know, be cordial. Um, I'm actually really happy for Steve, this is like the first year that I've ever heard a CL chant. This is the first year? Any yelling? Actually, it was very, Lots it was yelling simple. by Steve, because he's, he's getting ready to lose. <laughs> Steve, you're gonna lose. You know, he's just laying into me and just like saying all this stuff. How many trophies do you have in your your? Uh, uh, your if, house you could, or if you can do math, three three times more than you. Okay, so, so whatever. Six, it's a lot. Six. It's a, it's a <laughs> six. I think there was like one thing he said. I don't remember what it was. He said something, and then it kind of like triggered me a bit. You probably saw it in my like body language, where I was just kind of like, enough. <laughs> Enough, child. <laughs> Andy, Andy, okay, here's the thing, here's the thing. If you have all this confidence, why don't you just put your money where your mouth is, all right? Like, $100,000 on tomorrow's match. No, no fucking joke. Done, done, Seriously, no done, fucking joke. Like, done, done. We're gonna stop you tomorrow. Oh my god. I was like, no, my like, women just like that's one of those things where it, like came out and it happened and then it's just like, what? You just no, put it back in and then just okay, that's done is done. So uh, so it was just kind of all fun and um, added some extra hype for the matches. Alright, could I get two pepperoni pizzas? Uh, one burger, uh, medium. They're out of chicken wings, what do you want? So, this for that. You asked for chicken wings. Ah, that's fine. Alright, we play TSM, Lysandra, Rek'Sai, Akali, Aurelia Pryo. Their Rise Pro is less. They don't play Ash, they don't play Stone Teric. If they play Stone Teric, then they're probably pretty bad at it. They don't, they don't prefer crit ADs. They're pretty bad at Stone Teric, but one. Every single day, our analyst Jack showed us his tangibles, what like TSM strategy saw, like how to play the game, etc. Alrighty, we have everyone. Let's get. You want know, impact? You probably want to sit down. I don't want. That. Okay, you can stand. Matter. We went over that like I think three or four days leading up to the finals, and then he even like quizzed us on it to make sure that we would remember like how they play the game from you know early game to mid game to late game. We're going to quiz you guys over this because you guys were falling asleep last time. Jeez. So this, will, this will maintain that you guys have retention. The first question, where does Bjergsen stand level one blue side? It's B or C. What about B? It's B. B? But I feel like it doesn't, it doesn't always be there. Yeah. Is it B? No more No. All right, we'll move on to the next question. It is. He, he does both. I'm pretty sure. Which lane do TSM play towards on the second and third clear? Mid. <laughs> it's always mid. It's not bad. Okay. We'll put down your answers so we can actually grade you on the post and pre after I present it. I think the first quiz we had like maybe 30%. They're okay. not good at first round. Okay. They struggle. Struggle, correct. Clap, clap, clap. No. Jensen gets caught. Jensen gets oh, caught, yeah. Shit. <laughs> Don't run his... But then after that, 
We got every single answer right. Four. 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 D. Good. See? We ended up getting a hundred on this one. Well, next, guys. Rio tomorrow. Honestly, I felt pretty relaxed going into the finals, but I don't know, for some reason, the night before, I tried to go to bed early and I woke up like one hour later and then I was just completely awake and I couldn't sleep, but I thought it would be helpful to like look back at my past failures. So when everyone else went to bed, um, I was watching the replays of the past two finals I played against TSM. You know, kind of remember the moment, like what it felt like to lose. You know, I kind of just told myself that I don't want to experience this again and remind myself that to play with no fear and just play my own game. So that was really helpful. Chucking shit. Dude, we're practicing soccer. All you need is a soccer ball. Yeah, we're like, even like, 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 like,
Over the course of the last three months, these two teams have proven time and time again. They are the best League of Legends squads in North America. Today, they determine who is number one and who will represent North America at MSI. Lift and his teammates are ready to prove today that old dynasties are dead and new dynasties are here to stay. Please welcome Team Liquid and TSM! The energy of the arena was really sick. I remember coming out of the TSM chance and then there was some Liquid chance. There was an electric air to it and it was just overwhelmingly loud. I really liked that. It was just like an unforgettable experience again. I think it was pretty clear that like Sven was trying to get into our heads. I mean, he just looked stupid. I mean, if that's what he needs to get a mental advantage, then go for it. All right, starting guys. Let's go. go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, boys. We've got Smoothie coming in. Look for the play again. Blocked out. There's no damage out of Bjergsen's paddle star. Lower health. Here comes the cannon. Big damage to the front line. Looking for one. Not just yet. Akadia goes down. One for zero. Team Liquid. Broken blade on the back line. Stop watch by some space. Impact flashes away. Still does the one kill. Looking for the second. One more Q. Answer back by Broken Blade. No knock up yet. Sven gets away. Two for one. Team Liquid. They get two for two overall. A third kill now for TL. A third one comes back for TSM. As Corey shows up, but only to run away. 2v2 left on the map. They got SM have control over mid, double lift. Base chain a couple of champions, gotta be careful. Pump down, so very low, he could almost drop. And there's the back line, Acadian finds him yet again. Team fight 4v5, and TSM feel good about this one. Looking at damage towards Core JJ, short on the wall. Two for zero, and TSM look to strike first in this series. TSM are just wreaking havoc. A double kill may get a triple in his first LCS fight. Okay, we came in next time. Yep, yep. Close to us. Close. Vladimir, and the next is more important. TSM 1-0. I kind of chalked up the loss to first game, a lot of like overzealousness. We basically threw when I got caught mid, the game was basically just over right there. I didn't really think much of game one. We just made a lot of mistakes early on, um, me especially, which put me far behind. I think our team comp was pretty good. Like, we definitely had the chance to win that game, but we just made too many mistakes. Game two, we didn't really think that they would first pick Tarek. They've left up the Tarek. That's grabbed right away. Liquid must have an answer for this bottom lane. When did you expect them to first pick their summoner Tarek? We had counters to it, but we didn't really play it that much, and there, there wasn't a lot of teams that were playing it. He's grabbed. The fuck is this shit? Dude? We kind of just thought they weren't going to play it, but they did, so then it kind of caught us off guard a little bit. First blood in for Acadian. Down goes Double Lift. TSM slaughter this fight. Core JJ is down, and the back line will not be found. And make it a third for Bjergsen. And they can heal right back up now with the Sona Tarek. Your impact's ult hit no TSM ensuring it is theirs, and they are one game away from returning to their legacy. TSM 2-0. Now they've got the back-to-back -back defending champions at match point. For TL, it's going to be back to the drawing board. They've shown they, they can't deal with this Sona Tarek. It was so well thought out, and it just really seemed that TL had no answer. You know, how can they keep their back line safe? TSM are now 2-0 here in St. Louis. I don't know what to do. Maybe we change your call again. That's about it. Yeah, actually, yeah, I don't even ban a call again. I should ban a little bit right Yeah, I think we have to take. We came back into the room and we did not review the game because we felt like the game didn't matter. It was like, well, we lost in ban pick. On to the next one. <laughs> you know? The last two games we played full dive, and that one was like, I don't even know what our team comp was. But I think it's really impossible for me to do anything in team fights if. We have comps like these. It's just not even worth going into like any of the details. You know, you just like accept the loss and you move on. And so that's what we did, and then just focused around fan pick for the next game. I prefer not to play against Vlad. 
because these games are going really long, 30, 40 minutes. I really think their bot lane is like the weakest point of their team right now. If we play, if we first pick Tom, they go Varus Braum, we have no hope of winning a 2v2. It's just gonna be Tom Ash, Varus Braum, both farming evenly. I guess you can also legit just first pick Varus. Mm -hmm. We've never done that in our lives, but... I just, yeah, basically, I just want, I just want kill potential on bot lane. Okay. I want, I want to play a matchup where there's some sort of ability to punish them. TSM's already been in this position, down 2-0 in a series, but now they're sitting pretty ahead two games. For TL, the team that's kind of swept their way through at times, even in their two previous final wins, this is unfamiliar territory. Well, I think we figured out every matchup, right? Yeah. So let's just go various Kaza, Kaza, yeah. And go bot lane kingdom. Kaza! All right. Double lift your show. To the stars. I'm gonna oh, boy. Can I kill any bot? Can I yes. kill Ogres here? No, Punish these have... fuckers. Just come. Okay. We're on to the rip. Team Liquid must win three straight, or TSM are back to being the best team of all time in North America. I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Well done. Uh, he ulted me, he ulted me. I'm gonna go in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, go. 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 Bloody, 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 bloody. Pull to me, pull to me, stunning, I'm stunning. Like Glory is in, they're gonna find themselves the pullback. Is this the kill? The stuns come in, and the top laner is assassinated. It's time for round two. Smithy is fast, he'll find us slow, and he is furious to find another kill. But pulled back in, Sven gonna get him back out. Keep chasing, keep chasing, keep chasing. Yeah. Okay. Rexai is high, Rexai wants me. The Erickson tries to kill him, won't just do it yet. Ignite is on, and he is low. Rexai, if he lands a Q, can kill double if. Smoothie's going down. Team Liquid two in a row. Mountain Drake picked up. Are they saying? I'm coming. Uh, I think you're dead. You're no? by Acadian. Good damage here for the Rex side. The ult. Plenty of damage for the Sterix. I got a big shot down. Big shot down. Alex Smithy is here. A shutdown to the game plank. They're still hitting this Baron down about half HP. Close to Ren is not insane damage, but it works. Rexai, 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 Rexai. Kill Rexai, just focus Rexai, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. One. And that's Guardian Angel down. Acadian. Will they go for round two here? He does not have Smite. And they kill the Smite. Baron's 4,000 health on Baron. And Team Liquid. They grab it. Expendy doing all the heavy lifting. All right, we're gonna have Baron for this Elder, so let's try to get the top push in as much as we can. Actually, this, this track fight is actually a game hey, actually, we need to win this. Push. They're able to take down the Elder Dragon now, and they're gonna bring the fight right to TSM's doorstep. Teleport, flank from Broken Blade. TSM looking to make the play. The long flank of Turret still alive. Double it picked up. That's devoured Talon on cooldown. Here comes the re-engage. Gaudi to join as well. They picked up Broken Blade, but they're re engaged. I say that. I say that. We win. Two, we win. One. We win. We win. Only two. Only two. Only two. They've got another one. It's only two alive for TSM, and two games is where they will stay. Nice, nice, nice. Go next, go okay. next. Next game, guys. Um, like easy 3-0. We will go to game four, and Team Liquid will hope for the reverse sweep for their third straight title, taking game three over TSM. I was confident the whole time that we could definitely win and reverse sweep. Like, I've seen it so many times. Once you have a team figured out, like, you just have them figured out. Unless they change their playstyle really dramatically, or they change their skill, like, their level of play really dramatically, then you're going to win the rest of the series. Game 4 started off really well. We got really ahead. We got a 2v2 kill bot under their tower, and then Topside also won a skirmish. It was like... We got top bot tower, Herald, and Drag, like, all in about, like, two or three minutes. That was a really one-sided game. I basically just felt completely in control the whole time. Mostly it was up to Jensen to play really well and smart around their jungler, and he did a really good job. He basically absorbed Rek'Sai's pressure for like 10 minutes straight, and he's not going to get enough credit for what he did, but what he did in that game was the main reason why we won. It all comes down to the adaptation in game number five. Yeah. I'm hoping for a close one. Going into the final game, I was... Overly confident. <laughs> I thought to myself, we have the momentum. They're doubting themselves, like maybe we could use this to our advantage and all the standard things that you would think going into game five. But we really centered and we knew that blue or red side selection before the game was incredibly important. So we spent a lot of time discussing that before game five started. In fact, I think we were gonna choose red side. For last game, just for like, because like their ball lane is playing so so bad right now. Like, if we could get counter picks top side and we make it top side stronger, I think the game is just easier. Because I think right now if we win bottom, we win the game. If they win tank camp, they're not gonna try and pick 
Yeah, they won't. But they could pick something like Galio or something. We need to be playing. We need to think about what we're going to do. Uh, Actually, I'm not going to answer. 我们的小朋友，我们的小朋友，我们的小朋友，我们的小朋友，我们的小朋友，我们的小朋友，我们的小朋友，我们的小朋友，我们的小朋友，我们的小朋友，我们的小朋友，我们的小朋友，我们的小
and also just like really happy for my teammates. I guess I'm like I'm super happy because I get to go to MSI, and I'm, I'm happy for Jensen and Quark because they get to win their first uh, LCS trophy. It's just uh, sensory overload since there's so much noise and there's so much like screaming and jumping, and people are just like flooding the stage. So I was just trying to enjoy the moment. I don't know. It makes me really happy. Like everyone was super supportive of me and you know, help me do this thing that I've been chasing for four years. So everything I've done so far has just really made it worth it because I think the fact that I lost so many finals just kind of made it even more sweet when I was finally able to win one. It kind of goes back to a conversation that I had with Jensen when he came on board. I promised him over the phone when we were chatting, I said, look, Jensen, you come over. I promise I will do everything I possibly can to get you a championship, North American championship. He kind of, I think I remember he's saying, oh, okay, thanks, Steve. And I was like, no, seriously, I promise. And the thing is, it's not like Jensen got carried or anything. Like, he fucking earned it. He really stepped up, and I'm so proud of him. And I know he was so happy. He was so happy, and it brings a lot of joy for me. It was probably my best day of my life here, because, I mean, at this point, playing video games is my life. Like. This is what I've turned it into. I don't really do anything else than play League of Legends almost 16 hours a day. So for sure, like it's it's the most memorable experience for me because it's it's everything to me. It's everything I'm doing and it's everything I'm gonna be doing for as long as I can. So just winning this trophy and winning against TSM just means everything to me. Can I go home? Oh my god. You know, in the beginning we weren't like all super close on Liquid because I mean I was new, so it takes some time, but I'm starting to feel really close to the guys, so it's, it's been an amazing journey and I'm super happy to be here. Is there anything that you'd like to say, anything to your teammates, to your coach, to any of the fans who have came out and seen you today and also cheering for you guys at home? The crowd was really insane, so thank you guys for coming out and thanks everyone for supporting us. And to my teammates, I love you guys. I saw the same thing that I felt when I, I won my first trophy and it was love for your teammates, like Jensen said on stage, like, I love you guys to the rest of us. And I thought that was something he would never say, like, literally, like, no one, no one says that uh, on our team. Like, we're all really good friends and I think we do love each other, but like, it's not something that you'd ever say since it's, it's a little bit melodramatic, but I think like, in the moment it felt right for him to say it. Our team is like, we're really close, we like care about each other and we want to, we want to see each other succeed. So they got to feel what it was like finally, and it was, Great to be a part of that. So what's next? Next up is international dominance. We're gonna take over in this aisle. Squad. 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 All right, they got that great. We Check that box off, thank you.